I just finished the uh, what, what are my thoughts about stealing the truck camper video this video you just saw yesterday I literally just wrapped it up I put the camera down on my bed I was ready to go and upload the video which you would have already seen but I ran into a problem I came outside here this is just great I came outside and you know before I leave I kind of just do a little walk around on my camper, make sure that everything's closed up, make sure the turnbuckles are on. It's just, I just, a habit. And I walk past this tire. Does that tire look low to you? <laughs> yes. So I have had a nail in that tire and some of you guys commented in one of my videos, I filmed this tire and uh, it had a nail in it but I kept checking it and I didn't think that it went through it, there was no leakage at all uh, but it looks like it finally poked through to the point where it's leaking and I'm at about 10 psi which is no good so today's video is going to be not by choice how to change a tire <laughs> uh, with the truck camper on your on your on your truck let's let's do this let's learn together I don't where's my tire uh, I know where my spare tire is it's right, oh. there it is. Okay, let's figure this out. This will be exciting. I know how to change a tire, but it just adds a different dynamic to it with the truck camper. So I thought that maybe people will want to see this. And it takes my mind away from uh, how crappy this situation is because I had some things to do today, but step one. <laughs> now, before we get on with this video, I want to just say something really quick. Um, a lot of people say, don't kick your tires because when you kick your tires, pretending like you know you think you're gonna know what the pressure is at you're really not gonna know but there's one exception to that is if the tires completely flat and it's off the bead or if it's close to coming off the bead you'll be able to tell because it'll wiggle a whole bunch I drive professionally and uh, I have actually caught so many flat tires inside dually tires from just simply kicking them because they just wiggle and from first glance if this if these two tires were replaced this one's flat but if it was inside you would never be able to tell just by visually looking at it so kicking it is sometimes a really good option I mean unless you want to get your tire gauge out every single time and check it but if you're just in a quick hurry with your own personal vehicle or something give it a kick and if it's not completely flat then it'll hold you guys understand what I'm saying right I'm just saying that sometimes kicking a tire is actually useful it's not always just fake and for show that's what that's really what I'm trying to prove it just took me a whole bunch of words to do that so I've just got some fancy locks for my fast guns because fast guns are expensive and I don't want anyone to steal them so let's take these locks off and then just pop the fast guns off and then we're ready to lift the camper up. I love these fast guns. They're from fast. Just gonna swing my jack out here. It was really, really windy out right now. Uh, I would have lowered my jacks and then taken my fast guns off just so my truck camper doesn't blow off my truck But it's a super calm day. So that's why I did it in that order Electric jacks are amazing. If you just take a look at this This is the front left jack front right back left back right and so you can lower or lift each one individually or you can lift and lower all of them uh, at, at once so for those still uh, turning their jacks I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I got a pretty good workout too, holding this. <laughs> so that should be enough to uh, at least raise the truck up a little bit, enough so that that back wheel comes off the ground. For those, for how many people ask, um, I've answered this before, but how stable is a camper when uh, when it's up on, when it's really high up? Like, it's not stable at all. So when you 
take it off your truck, you want to lower it as, as much as possible. And you also want to, if you want it really stable, you can put something underneath the, the belly of it. So we've got the wrench there and we've got the jack right down here. There are the tools. So do you know what I find funny about this? It is. Oh, that's so weird. <laughs> is that they've locked <laughs> is that they've locked my spare tire, but they haven't locked my fuel cap. Like my gas fuel cap, there's no lock on it. You just open it up, siphon fuel whatever you want. <laughs> Probably shouldn't tell you guys that. You're gonna siphon my fuel now. Please don't do that. It hurt my feelings. For all you uh, mechanics out there, I don't know how you do it. I could never have the patience to fix vehicles or fine tune things. As soon as something wouldn't work for me, I would, uh, I would quit. Uh oh. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> okay, there we go. Spare tire. Get your jack. It goes up and down. And you're gonna put it, there's instructions. And you're gonna put it where it says you're supposed to put it. And you're gonna start jacking your truck up. All right guys, so my truck manual says to put the jack right where it is. I blocked it up a little bit just because the distance from here to here would almost extend the jack completely. So I blocked it up a little bit with blocks. And now I'm going to basically start turning this and lifting the truck up. Now, I'm not a professional at all. I'm just showing you guys this. Disclaimer, when being under your truck, don't be stupid. <laughs> and if you think that anything is gonna fall and crush you, either block it up or be out of the way of the fall. Okay, so this is not a tutorial by a professional, all right? So just disclaimer for you. I know that if this jack gives out, I have plenty of room. Like the, the truck's not gonna crush me, all right? So if you guys can see that, these tires are now off the ground. So now we're good, we're jacked up just enough. And we can start loosening these um, uh, uh, bolts and getting this tire off. The cover's kind of annoying, but it keeps everything pretty. There we go. It takes a little bit. You can also get like a snipe or an extension so that you'd have a little bit more leverage on your uh, your wrench here. Could have I uh, driven this to a shop to get it replaced? Uh, yeah, definitely. I definitely could have. I could have went slow. I could have, there's a shop just around the corner. Um, but I don't want to leave my truck there because I got stuff to do today. So I'll put the spare on and then they can just deal with the flat. I love how this video is like kind of turned out as a like at the start just was a joke and now I'm actually like step by step showing you how to change a tire once again I'm not a professional I'm probably making mistakes but changing a tire is pretty simple the only added thing with the truck camper is just taking the weight off the truck whether that's jacking it up and driving forward jacking it up and doing what I'm doing right now it's the same so if you want to really professionally know how to change a tire it's like this but um, go to a professional person's site so they can tell you all the do's and don'ts this is just for fun. Well, one thing you want to do, just check the uh, the, the pressure in there to make it sure it's uh, well to make sure that one's not flat as well. There, there's 65. Might just have to uh, mess around with it a little bit to get it 
positioned right. Your vehicle manual will show you uh, where your tire is if you don't have the same truck as mine. Uh, it'll also show you like how to tighten these bolts up uh, or these lug nuts or whatever they're called. Uh, you basically go in a star pattern because if you just go around this way, it's going to be off. So you just go tighten that one, then tighten that one, tighten that one, tighten that one, tighten, just as a star pattern. Oh, that's hard work. And then what you're going to do is you're going to release your jack that's underneath and it's going to sit down on that tire and that tire is going to be good until you go to the uh, tire shop to get it tightened up. And um, you're going to put some uh, weight on it with the truck camper, bring your jacks up, put your fast guns back on and away you go. Just like I said, just uh, like changing a normal tire but taking the camper off first. <laughs> Pretty basic. I'm not a professional. I can't stress that enough. And um, I just wanted to show you guys what was happening to me today. It kind of sucked. I mean, I'm a YouTuber, so I gotta make content when I can get it. And this seemed like good content. <laughs> Have an awesome day, guys. I will see you in the next video with a brand new tire. Keep living that dream, and bye bye.